Hey, Mike with the comics and I'm back. This time, I want to show you my comic pickups for the week. If you're interested in that, stay tuned for that intro. So welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. So, like I said, wanted to show you my comic pickups for the week, a little bit of new comic book day, some back issues, and, um, you know, just a little stuff in between. So, ended up going to, I want to say, three comic shops this week. Um, first and foremost, let's get the uh, new comic book day pickups out of the way. Um, was looking for some of my picks for the week. They didn't have any. I was like, what's going on here? So, I don't like to chase. Um, I usually go to one shop, and if I don't have it, I don't buy it. So, went to that one shop, ended up picking up a couple of books, and then a bunch of back issues. Went to another shop today, was able to get a couple of new comics, so I'll start off with that. So, ended up picking up, this wasn't one of my pickups for the week, but I was like, you know, I was looking for some horror books, you know, I was like, I'm a big horror reader. So, uh, they ended up having this, and I was like, oh, you know, we didn't end up ordering Spectro, but uh, we did get this from uh, Sor Source Point Press, and this was also a one shot, and uh, this is Nightmare Man. So, I'm going to check this out, I do like the black and red cover, so uh, I am familiar with Matt Rowe. Not familiar with um, Matthew uh, Wilding, so uh, I'll give that a shot. It's a one shot, so you can't really go wrong. Um, the next book, um, <clears throat> my son saw there was Spider-Man there, so I was like, all right. This was one of my honorable mentions this past week. And uh, this is Spider-Man 2099 Exodus issue number one. That was the um, first appearance of Winter Soldier 2099. So, uh, they've been doing a lot of these um, 2099 characters, so I figured, I'm sorry about that, figured, um, pick it up, why not, maybe he'll like it, he likes Spider-Man, so uh, give that a shot. And uh, while I was there, I saw that they had some amazing Spider-Man and spectacular Spider-Man, so uh, I was like, alright, let me check out what you got there in the, uh, in the back issues. This shop I went to, I guess pre-COVID. You could go around and you know look through the back issues and that's what i really liked about that comic shop and then once COVID happened they kind of made like this big barricade around there and you can only like pick up the books from new comic book day like there on the kiosk which it kind of looks you know to me it's a little lame you know that they have to grab them there for you uh, i'm more of a i like to look at it open it up check it out and then you know buy it but um this shop unfortunately you can't do that anymore that's why I primarily go to my other shop in, uh, in Atterboro. But uh, they did have this cool key. I uh, recently picked this book up in a 9.6. And um, they had this book raw. So I was like, all right, I'm going to pick this up. And this is now my second copy of uh, Peter Parker's Spectacular Spider-Man, issue number 9. This is the first appearance of Hector Ayala in uh, comics. Um, he first appeared in a magazine. But this is his first uh, comic appearance. So uh, they were asking 40 bucks. I was like, all right, I'll pick it up. Why not? I see a lot of potential for this character in the future. So uh, definitely a recommendation in my book. All right, so uh, going back to the other shop, and uh, I needed some bag and boards. I was like, damn, I'm getting all these comics. And I don't have anything to, to put them in. And, you know, a lot of these, uh, especially the back issues, you know, like, for example, this was the... The bag that the uh, spectacular Spider-Man was in. Yeah, what a difference. So, word of advice: when you uh, get books that are, you see bags like this, it's time to change it out. <laughs> so, uh, because that helps preserve your uh, the quality of the book, the paper inside. You know, any of that oxidation that gets into the into the uh, bags over time just gets that those white pages over time become off-white and then tan 
you know, and they just eventually break down. So especially when you get like books, what I'm going to show you next, um, very important to change out those uh, bags and boards. So that's what I did. I ended up buying some uh, Silver Age bags and boards and uh, damn, they're expensive. They've gone up in price. You know, I figured Silver Age covers a broad spectrum of comics from, you know, you're getting about 50, 60 years worth of comics that, you know, they'll fit outside of Golden Age. That's the only, you know, genre that won't fit. So um, that's the vast majority of my collection. So I um, had to restock. And that was like 25 bucks. I was like, holy crap. So, uh, you know, that adds up pretty quickly when you're spending. And then I'll show you the books I got next. So I ended up getting three more books. Um, the last one I won't show you on this one. They'll be on the upcoming video because it is one of my uh, 2022 gold books that I've been actually it's been a gold book for a couple of years but I finally picked one up but um, anyways going back to this I went to this shop maybe three weeks ago two three weeks ago and I told you guys a story that they had you know a single owner that sold their collection after um, her husband passed away tons of golden age silver age so forth so I uh, went back there and the books were still there and nobody bought them. I was like, you got to be kidding me. So um, bought some more. So first book, I picked this up. I don't believe there's anything key. I just thought it was hilarious cover. And this is um, 12 Center. Superman, issue number 155. You see, um, what's his name? Antonio, Antonino Roca throwing Superman over the top ropes <laughs> so I picked that up just because it was just an amusing cover um, and then the last two are gonna be Golden Age um, like I said going back they had a bunch of Captain Marvel juniors Wiz comics um, Captain Marvel you name it they had quite a bit there so I picked up this is Captain Marvel jr. issue number 67 says the pirates of 1948 and yes this is a book from 1948 um really cool cover uh, i just like the little you know scene there where captain marvel jr is jumping into that treasure chest and you see all the all the gold coins flying right out from these uh, looters these pirates so i picked that up couldn't pass up on that you know um picked up a book from 1950 really cool Captain Marvel cover. This is Wiz Comics, issue number 119. There was another Wiz Comics, I think, like in the 90s that I passed up on um, just because I was already spending quite a bit of money. Ended up, I think, spending like 100 bucks and uh, between all the books. And um, the cool thing is the last time I went there, I spent like over 200 bucks and they ended up giving me like $5 voucher card. So I ended up getting, you know, 20 bucks off, which was pretty nice. So uh, pick that up and I do have one more book and that will be in a follow up video. So uh, stay tuned for that one. Um, so that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Um, if you did, hit the thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, Mark's with the comics.